Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today we have two short articles for you. Let's、uh, get to work on the first one Artificial Light, No Laughing Matter for Clownfish. Our Chinese title is Nemo the Weiji, Guang Wu Ran, Kong Cheng, Xiao Chou Yu, the Sheng Chun Huo Hai. Now, go to the Yong Fa. No, something is no laughing matter. 就是这件事情可不是闹着玩的意思啊。那 clownfish 就是小丑鱼。Right, if something is、uh, no laughing matter, we should be serious about it. We should take it seriously. Clownfish we have here in Taiwan,、uh, and lots of them actually. You don't have to wade、uh, too far out. Sometimes you're just in knee deep seawater, say in Penghu or or on the east coast. And boom,、uh, right near the coral, you'll see a number of these.、Uh, what was it, Nemo? He was yeah, a clownfish. Yeah. Well, if you've seen Nemo, then you've seen a clownfish. <laughs> okay, Have we found、yeah. him, by the way? <laughs> Nemo. Yeah. 啊，刚刚这个 Bruce 老师有讲到说 ，you don't have to wade too far out. 那个 wade 是涉水而走的意思，涉水而行啊。W A D E. An artificial light is man-made light. And、uh, we have an example, a good one here. So let me get busy reading the two paragraphs, and then we go back to explain the content. An international team of scientists, comprised of researchers from France, the UK, Chile, and Australia, recently studied the clownfish population of the coral reefs surrounding the French Polynesian island of Moria. This new study has found evidence that. Clownfish exposed to artificial light for long periods of time were 36 percent less likely to survive compared to clownfish living farther from human settlements. It also noted that in about 44 percent of survivors, slow growth and development rates were evident. Stefan Swearer, a professor of marine biology at the University of Melbourne, Has indicated that Moria's many beachfront luxury hotels could be to blame. Lights kept on at night disrupt the clownfish's natural light cycles and keep them from experiencing a crucial period of repose. Unable to rest, they die from exhaustion. Okay, so clearly. That is a lesson to the rest of us. Get your sleep at night, because we human beings are also artificially lighting ourselves for、mm-hmm. too long at night.、Mm-hmm. So our first sentence says: An international team of scientists, comprised of researchers from France, the UK, Chile, and Australia,、um, they recently studied the clownfish population of the coral reefs surrounding the French Polynesian island of Moria. Um, I'm going to say that sounds like a cushy job. Let's go to a tropical island and study <laughs> clownfish. Let's dive for our job. I mean, I'm sure that they were like, "Yes, we're getting paid to do this. This is awesome." I'm also sure that they worked very hard to do this because counting and studying fish in their natural environment is not actually a very easy job. But that's what they did. They studied them. That means they looked at how they lived. They looked at how many there were. They looked at their behavior. There's a lot of work to, to be done when you study an animal. Okay. 好，我们可以看到这个句子。他说有一个 international 一个国际的 team of scientists， 就是科学家团队 ，comprised of 就是 to be comprised of。好，所以 be comprised of 就是由什么什么组成。那它由什么组成呢 ？Researchers 由研究人员组成。那研究来这些研究人员是来自法国、来自英国、来自智利，还有来自澳洲。好，那这样的一个研究研究团队呢？这句话真正的主词在这里。Recently studied， 他们最近研究了。好 ，the clownfish population。这个 clownfish 就是小丑鱼，他们的 population 在这里就是一个族群啊，所以一个特定的族群。他们研究了这个特定的小丑鱼的族群。啊，是什么小丑鱼的族群呢？是个珊瑚礁啊。那这个珊瑚礁是在哪里的？珊瑚礁的这个小丑鱼族群呢，是在 surrounding 这个珊瑚礁是围绕着这个法属的波利尼西亚啊。它有一个岛屿叫做这个莫里亚岛，这个附近的珊瑚礁。
个小丑鱼的族群，他们去研究这些小丑鱼。This new study has found evidence that clownfish exposed to artificial light for long periods of time were 36 percent less likely to survive compared to clownfish living farther from human settlements. So, what was this research about? The、uh, biologists、uh, went to、uh, Moria, and after spending a lot of time looking into、uh, their their lives, their diets, how long they live, and so on, they found that the clownfish that lived closer to artificial light they were exposed to. They were closer to artificial light,、uh, man-made light, for long periods of time, and that could easily be. Uh, all night,、um, many businesses, some homes, and and hotels, they keep their lights on all the time,、uh, the lights that are outside of the building, and that affects the fish so that they are thirty six percent less likely to survive to live、uh, compared to clownfish living farther from human settlements. Those、uh, clownfish living in coral. Oh, say hundreds of meters away from the nearest hotel in a dark night environment did much better than clownfish living in coral, where the coral was very very near,、uh, right in front of say hotels on the beach. 好，所以我们看到这个句子，他说这个新的研究呢 has found evidence 找到了一些证据。好，注意呢 evidence 不能加 s， 它是不可数的。他们找到一家一些证据 ，that 其实在中文就显示的意思啊。这些证据显示了什么呢？显示小丑鱼，那后面一个分词片语修饰这个小丑鱼，或者它是你可以说它这个关系代名词只去简化来的。好 ，clownfish that were 啊，或者 that is 或者 that are 啊，这个都省略掉，它直接说 exposed to 就是暴露于，暴露于什么的小丑鱼呢？暴露于 artificial light 就是。人造光的小丑鱼，而且不但是暴露，而且是 for long periods of time， 就是长期暴露于。那各位注意到这个长期 for long periods， 通常有个 s 啊 of time， 因为很多人觉得中文长期好像是一段时间，但其实英文呢它是很多段时间累积起来的，所以是 long periods of time。所以长期暴露于人造光的小丑鱼呢 ，were thirty six percent less likely to survive。less likely 就是比较不可能。所以 ，like 呃、uh, ，less likely to survive 就是比较不可能存活。那怎么样呢？它百分之三十六的比较不可能存活，也就是说，它存活率降了百分之三十六。好，那这是跟谁比呢 ？Compared to 和什么相比？跟谁比呢？跟 clownfish living farther， 那跟那些住的比较远的小丑鱼离什么比较远呢 ？Farther from human settlements， 就是。人类的聚落，人类的定居地，离人类的定聚落或者人类的定居地比较远的那些小丑鱼呢？比起来，这些长期暴露于人造光的小丑鱼，存活率降了百分之三十六。It also noted that in about forty-four percent of survivors, slow growth and development rates were evident. If something is evident, it can be seen clearly. And what could they see? They could see that even in the fish that didn't die. They weren't doing well. They certainly weren't thriving. They were growing more slowly. They were developing more slowly, and slower, weaker, younger fish die more easily in the long term and also don't reproduce well. So that's also bad news. Yeah, it also noted that note 就特别注意，特别提到，他特别提到，大概在这些 survivors 存活下来的鱼里面呢，他们已经。存活率降低了百分之三十六了。那就算存活下来的鱼里面呢，大概有百分之四十四的这个鱼里面呢，我们看到什么东西？看到 slow 很很缓慢的 growth， 就是生长 and development， 还有发展的发育的速率。好，那所以发现这些活下来的鱼里面有百分之四十四，它们的生长还有发育速率呢迟缓。好，而且这个现象怎么样 ？Were evident， 非常的明显啊。那 Evident 就是明显或者显而易见 ，plain 啊，或者是 obvious 的意思。Okay, next paragraph. Stephen Swearer, a professor of marine biology at the University of Melbourne, that of course is in Australia, has indicated that 
Moria's many beachfront luxury hotels could be to blame. So here is one of the uh, marine biologists, Stefan Swearer, Dr. Stefan Swearer. He's a professor at the University of Melbourne uh, uh, in uh, southern and, and southeastern Australia. Part of his research found that on this island of uh, Moria, there are many luxury hotels on the beach, and so we call them beachfront luxury, high-class, certainly expensive hotels, could be to blame. They are the reason for the problems of the clownfish. 好，那 Stephen Swearer 啊，他是谁呢？同一个告诉你，他是一个 marine biology 海洋生物学的教授啊，而且是这个墨尔本大学的海洋生物学教授。他 has indicated 他指出，好，那在这个岛上呢，他有很多的 beachfront 就是滨海的 luxury hotels 滨海滨海的豪华旅馆 could be to blame 有可能是。什么什么的原因，有可能是为要为什么什么负责啊 ？To blame 就是你如果发现某人 is to blame， 那就是他是都是他害的，他是这个事情的原因。So lights kept on at night disrupt or interrupt or mess with the clownfish's natural light cycles. It messes with their what we call circadian rhythm, their expectations of light and dark. And it keeps them from experiencing a crucial or super important period of repose. Period of repose, period of rest. It it ex- keeps them from experiencing their necessary sleep, their crucial sleep. Okay, circadian rhythm. Yeah. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? C i r c a d i a n. Nice. C i r c a D I A N circadian. Oh, 厉害厉害啊 ！Circadian rhythm 啊，它的意思就是昼夜的节律啊。那个节就是一节两节，那个律就是规律的律啊。好，那我们回来看到这个句，他说呢 ，Lights kept on at night. 啊，这 kept 是维持 ，on 就是打开的状态，所以打开在晚上维持打开状态的这些灯叫做 lights kept on at night. Disrupt 是干扰。它会干扰到这个小丑鱼的 natural 自然的 light cycles， 它的光周期啊，那会 keep them from experiencing， 就让他们没有办法经历到一个 crucial 非常重要的 period of repose 休息的时间啊。repose 就是休息啊 ，a state of rest or sleep。好，那所以它会打断他们休息。Unable to rest, they die from exhaustion. If you were,、uh, if people made you stay up forty-eight、uh, hours in a row,、uh, some people would actually drop dead.、Uh, they, you can't keep going like that, nor can fish. So it's something for us to、uh, take seriously. It's no laughing matter. Hmm. So in unable, ah,、uh, unable to to rest, they have no ability to rest. They will die from exhaustion. 各位可可以把它一起背起来。Uh, to die from exhaustion, 就是因竭因为精疲力竭而死。Okay, now let's look at our second article for today's lesson. YouTube beats yet another lawsuit. 好，这个 beats lawsuit 就是 wins 的意思，它赢得了一个法律的诉讼。好，那我们的中文标题是欧洲最高法院裁定啊 ，YouTube 无需对用户侵权负责。As usual, I'll read through the article first, and then the three of us will go back sentence by sentence to explain the content. A recent court ruling in Luxembourg has found Google's social media platform YouTube not liable for copyright infringements perpetrated by its users. The acquittal has absolved YouTube of any wrongdoing. Regarding illegal uploads made between 2008 and 2009, the lawsuit was filed by Frank Peterson, a music producer, when he discovered that songs from his singer Sarah Brightman had been unlawfully uploaded on YouTube. The uploads had managed to sneak past YouTube's 
anti-copyright measures. YouTube removed the content as soon as they noticed, but Peterson claimed that the company was responsible for the oversight. The decision by Europe's top court has clarified that online platforms are not accountable for the act of uploading unauthorized content by any user. They'll only be penalized if they fail to remove or block access to this content. So, a recent court ruling. A court ruling is a decision made by a court. A court are the people who decide whether or not、um, other people have followed the laws, right? So, this court in Luxembourg, a tiny, tiny little country in the middle of Europe.、Um, God, it's so small. It has found social Google's social media platform YouTube not liable. If some, if you found, if you, if a court finds you something, they have decided that this is true. So they have decided that YouTube is not liable. They are not responsible for copyright infringements perpetrated by its users. A copyright infringement is when you use a piece of intellectual property. Like a song or a piece of text, if you use it without permission to make money from it, the key point is making money from it or not. If you have not made money from it or you are not able to make money from it, and this is a gray area that gets fought about a lot, then you are not infringing on copyright. So if you, you know, show some friends a video or you use a song in like a private showing of like a, a PPT in order to you know show your vacation slides, you're not infringing on copyright. But if you sold the set of pictures of this island with that music on it, then you are copyright infringing. You're infringing on copyright. Okay, so the copyright infringements perpetrated by its users. If you perpetrate something, it means that you deliberately do this thing, and also maybe spread it. To perpetrate something is to do something bad, basically. And so you're a perp, you're a criminal. That's the short term. You might have heard this in um, um, American crime thrillers. They're like CSI. Oh, CSI. The perp has done blah blah blah. The perpetrator, the criminal, the person who's done the bad thing. So. It's not YouTube who is perpetrating copyright infringements. It is the users, and this has been a big bone of contention from the beginning of the internet. Like, if you are a website hoster, are you responsible for what the users do on your platform or not? And there has been a fight both ways for a very long time, and.、Um, The so far, social media has been kind of held accountable, and so they are very quick to block or remove content that they understand to be copyright infringements. You just have to report it once, and it will be taken down. And it's on the person who put it up; it's their responsibility to spend three or four months fighting the system to be like, "No, I use this legally," or whatever. Most people are just like, "Fine, I'll take it down," because they don't want to do that fight. 啊，所以真的这个网络上面侵权的问题啊，一直是大家争议的焦点，尤其是像这种 YouTube 这种东西哈、啊，它那它上面的东西如果侵权的话，是谁的责任呢？啊，现在大家一争执不休。那在这里我们看到一个新的案例，他说一个 recent 最近的一个 court ruling， 一个法院的 ruling， 就是一个裁定或者一个判决啊，在卢森堡的一个判决 has found， 他认为 found 在这里就是。呃、uh, ，officially declare to be the case 啊，就是判决的意思啊。他判决呢，这个 Google 它的 social media 它的社群媒体的这个 platform 平台就是 YouTube， 它是怎么样呢 ？Not liable for something 啊 ，liable 就是 be responsible by law 啊，就是法律上认为你要负责啊 ，legally answerable 你必须要这个负责的，在法律上面要负责。那他们发现。这个 YouTube 不用负责，不用负法律责任啊？为什么事情负法律责任呢 ？For copyright infringements 就是侵犯版权啊 ，infringements 就是 violation 啊，就是破坏侵权的意思啊。所以 YouTube 不必因为这个侵犯版权的事情而负责。那这个侵犯版权的事情不是 YouTube 做的，所以他们不用负责。那是谁做的呢 ？Perpetrated by its users， 而是 YouTube 它的。用户所做的事情，所犯下的
啊 ，perpetrate 就是中文讲犯刑啊 ，carry out or commit a crime 啊 ，usually something harmful, something illegal 啊，或者 something immoral. In this case, it's only harmful to the bottom line of the people who own the intellectual property. Yeah, 那那在这里，这个他犯的刑是针对这些版权所有者所犯的刑。But you know what? Some really terrible people are doing. They're copywriting things like water sounds, and then they're take using this takedown notice to take down other people's water sounds, and then making them pay for it. Somebody、oh. copyrighted the ABC song to do this. 啊、oh, ，所以有的人他会录水声，然后去申请版权。那别人用了听到水声，他就可以去告人家，这样可以收钱啊。有很多各各种各样的犯罪。Okay, the acquittal—that's the court ruling that said、uh, YouTube is not responsible, and that's what this has absolved YouTube of any wrongdoing. The The judgment of the court. The court ruling said, "Okay, YouTube, you are not responsible in this situation. You didn't do anything wrong. There was no wrongdoing in the case of regarding illegal uploads made between 2008 and 2009." And of course,、uh, the the court case was about: is it legal to, or is it illegal to do something? 好 ，acquittal 就是无罪判决。这一次的无罪无罪判决呢 ，has absolved 好 absolve somebody of something 就是 to pronounce clear of guilt 或者 blame 好免除责任或者是罪责好，所以他让 YouTube 免除任何的罪责哈啊，而且是 YouTube 他没有罪责，换句话说他没有做任何的 wrongdoing 就是做错事情 illegal 或者是 dishonest behavior 好，那关于什么他完全没有罪责呢？关于这个 illegal。非法的 uploads 上传啊，在二零零八到二零零九年之间做的非法上传，他是没有刑责的。So the lawsuit in question was filed by Frank Peterson, a music producer, a guy who produces music for a living. And when he discovered that songs from his singer, one of the people in his team, Sarah Brightman, had been unlawfully uploaded on YouTube, so somebody had used her music for something. Yeah, to file a lawsuit 就是提出诉讼。所以这次的诉讼是谁提出来的？是有这一个人提出来 ，Frank Peterson， 他是一个音乐的制作人啊。当他发现到他的这个歌星呢，就是 Sarah Brightman， 很有名的人啊，他的歌 had been 被怎么样 unlawfully 被非法的 uploaded 上传到 YouTube 上。The uploads had managed to sneak past YouTube's anti-copyright measures. Uh, the people who were doing the illegal uploading, they were able to <laughs> sneak past. They found a way to get around the law,、uh, even though、uh, YouTube tried to stop this sort of behavior. Many people are clever enough to find out ways to beat the system, as we might say.、Um, YouTube does have an anti, or has some anti. Or anti-copyright measures.、Uh, the, these are、um, technical ways to prevent people from doing wrong things, illegal things. But again, some people are more clever than YouTube. Yeah, these these 上传的 had managed to 就是设法成功地怎么样 sneak past sneak 就是偷偷摸摸的行动。那 sneak past 就是偷偷的绕过了躲过了 YouTube 他们的 anti-copyright measures. YouTube， 他们有一些这个呃，防止侵犯版权的一些措施啊，但是呢，他们躲过了。YouTube removed the content as soon as they noticed, or as soon as their algorithm picked it up, actually. But Peterson claimed that the company was responsible for the oversight. So them taking it down quickly was not enough for him. He wanted them to not allow it to begin with, and to be held responsible for it, i.e., pay him money for it. Yeah, oversight 就是一个疏忽、失察啊，通常是一个 unintentional mistake 啊，或者 unintentional omission。所以这个地方讲到说啊，他怎么样呢 ？YouTube 他 removed the content， 把这个内容移除。As soon as they noticed， 他们一察觉到就把内容移除了。但是 Peterson claimed， 他认为。啊，这个这家公司，也就是 YouTube， was responsible for. 他必须要为他这一次的 oversight 负责。The decision by Europe's top court. Now remember, this is not the government of Luxembourg that made this 
um, decision. It was the Euro Court uh, belonging to all the countries, now 28 countries in Europe. Uh, They have clarified this problem. There were questions about this, but their judgment clarified that online platforms are not accountable for the act of uploading unauthorized content by any user. It's not really the blame of YouTube. Uh, YouTube. YouTube didn't say, sure, you, come on, you can copy anything you want. They had, they have measures to try to discourage this, uh, but some people still get around it. And the court said, okay, uh, you, when you found out about it, you did try to do something about it. So we will not find you guilty for that period of time. So this is the Ohio's top court decision. The judge. So Lu Sunbao, this court is the Ohio's top court decision. Top court. 那这次的判决 has clarified that has made it clear that 哈，这 clarify 就厘清哈。那厘清什么呢？他说 ，online platforms 线上的这些平台 are not accountable for， 就是 they are not responsible for 啊 ，not accountable for 就不必负责。他们不必为什么事情负责呢？为 the act of uploading 啊，为这个上传 unauthorized 未经授权的 content by any user。他们不需要为他们的使用者上传未经授权的内容而负责。They'll only be penalized. They'll only be punished if they fail to remove or block access to this content. So it's not like it's a free for all. Now you can go and put all this uncopy, all this copyrighted music up on your stuff. Yeah. So they'll only be penalized. Ah, so penalized 这个字就是呃，这因为犯法或者犯规而受到惩罚。所以。这些这些平台呢，只会受到惩罚。If they fail to 未能，他们没有能够 remove 删除或者是 block 封锁 access to this content， 就取得这些非法内容的管道。他们如果没有删除、没有封锁的话，他们才会被 penalized， 他们才会受到处罚。Okay, hope you've enjoyed and learned something from today's lesson.、Uh, we'll be back、uh, in a few days next week. So. Hang in there. <laughs> we'll see you then. Yeah, we'll see you back. We'll see you then. Till then, bye bye.